What's up, everybody? Justin here, bringing you another poorly reviewed beer. From Lakefront Brewery in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, this is Mike Imperial Brown Ale. Uh, you see it says right there, part of the My Turn series, number 21, there at the bottom. Uh, no specific description of that series on their website that I could find. Uh, uh, presumably it is uh, beers made by folks within their within their company, kind of one, a one-off series where people can kind of brew their own thing. That's kind of uh, the tone I got from the uh, notes on the specific beer from the brewery, uh, which are which say, this was brewed by Mike. He's a tour manager here at Lakefront. This Imperial Brown Ale is the best of both worlds. Dark, fla flavorful, but medium bodied. It won't fill you up too quickly. Big and balanced, the toasty and caramel malt notes are followed by coffee and hazelnut because as Mike says, they're a match made in heaven. 9% ABV. Oh. Alright, not much to it in terms of head. And I would definitely say that was a fairly spirited pour. Oh, it's a little later than normal when I'm doing this review, so I don't get the the sunlight filtering through my the daylight filtering through my window at all even with the blind closed so this is a rather dark brown kind of burnt orange on the edges maybe a little bit of a ruby red in there as well and as i hold up to the light uh it's pretty just a, a pure burnt orange pretty much with slightly lighter orange highlights uh pretty well see-through so again, I'm having trouble just because of how dark it is outside. Um, but yeah, pretty well see-through. Hold up to the light. Uh, yes, most definitely so. All right, let's uh, give it a try. Mm. The hazelnuts are giving off a massive aroma, I must say. And that pushes through into the, into the taste of the beer as well. Um... The first thing I get is a, a mouthfeel sensation. I guess you would call it. A, a, it's a, a richness or a savoriness to this beer. Almost like what you would describe with uh, as you know some kinds of of meat, especially red meat. Uh, it's just a very rich beer. Um, plenty of the hazelnut, um, a sweetness too. I'm going to try to find that here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Plenty of hazelnut. I would say it's probably the caramel malts uh, coming through with a good amount of sweetness. Probably a little bit of uh, just a touch of boozy sweetness as well. Again, it is 9% ABV. So I think the combination of the two are putting together a a fairly decent uh, sweetness to this beer. But, um, really incredibly tasty. There's just a, a hint of the toasted malts, just really very much in the back, very subtle. But again, in terms of flavor, you're really hit hard by the hazelnuts and the nutty, nutty flavors overall as well as caramel malts and again just a, a bit of a unique kind of hard to describe uh, mouthfeel to this beer again I'm calling it rich but uh, some other people might have some other descriptors for it perhaps but this is um I'm really liking this beer I'm, I'm a brown ale fan in general and this is a, this is a real good one I think from uh, from Lakefront Brewery um, unfortunately, it's a one-off there in that uh, this my turn series, but really, really terrific beer from Lakefront Brewery. And so that is it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. You can find all of my reviews, both video and written, along with news commentary and more, at poorlyreviewedbeer.com. Also, check out PRB on Twitter and Facebook. You can find those links in the description below. Uh, you can also find me on Instagram and Untapped in the description below. Also, feel free to like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer.